Fun fact, the section of the Toast video about the Master Rank Ribbon was originally quite a bit longer. I talked at length about how laddering is one of my least favorite mechanics in video games, as it means no amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Nothing feels worse to me in a video game when you spend hours and hours losing over and over, and by the end of it you realize that you just spent all that time to make negative progress, and you could have spent that time doing literally anything else productive and you would have been better off for not playing the game. I eventually cut that section out because it wasn't particularly relevant to the video, but in the years after, my feelings about the Master Rank Ribbon still haven't changed all that much. I still get a pit in my stomach every time I open the ranked screen in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And after my last project in the Ribbons community and seeing how many people enjoyed the room we created to make the World Ability Ribbon much easier, my thoughts turned to what people consider the other hardest ribbon in the series. Pokemon has experimented a lot with how to utilize the internet to battle against other trainers in a curated competitive environment. With the release of Generation 5, they launched the Global Battle Union, an online ladder that ran for nine seasons from 2011 to 2013. When Generation 6 rolled around, this was replaced with the raiding battle mode found in the battle spot, and this continued into Generation 7. The Galar ranked ladder was the first to introduce the concept of rising through ranked tiers and by extension award a ribbon for doing so. With the release of Scarlet and Violet, however, the Galar ranked ladder has entered into Series 14, and no longer ranks down players at the beginning of each month. This is very nice for ribbon collectors in particular, because once you reach Master Rank, you can stay there indefinitely or until they shut down the servers for Sword and Shield. At this point, you can simply ask other players in the Pokemon Ribbons Discord who are also in Master Rank to match up with you, and the servers are so deserted that you can intentionally queue with that player, have them forfeit the match, and it'll give you the ribbon, allowing you to easily earn it on up to six of the most unviable Pokemon. The true problem lies in actually reaching Master Rank with this completely abandoned ladder. Finding enough opponents is possible, but as you get into the higher tiers it can take upwards of weeks between finding a match, and as mentioned, if you lose, you essentially waited weeks to lose progress. This is a huge problem for a huge list of species, and in order for them to reach Ribbon Master status, they need this elusive Master Rank Ribbon. And not every species who can go to Galar is in the Paldea region games. As of writing, I have counted about 266 species that currently must obtain this Ribbon in Sword and Shield. This extremely long list of Pokémon includes some fan favorites such as Togepi, Togetic, and Togekiss, as well as other notable Shadow Pokémon including Shuckle, Remoraid, Mantine, Miltank, Mr. Mime, Jinx, Pinsir, and some old favorites such as Absol and the Sveal line. This also unfortunately includes every single Ultra Beast Pokémon. A few Pokémon are likely to come off this list once Paldea's ranked ladder allows at least one restricted Pokémon to be used on your team. But even with them removed, there are almost 250 species that if you're considering making them into a Ribbon Master, will have to come here for this Ribbon. Even if your Ribbon Pokémon aren't on this list, if there are species that can go to Galar once you're in Master Rank, this is far and away the better place to go and earn this Ribbon. But enough about the why you would want to get this Ribbon here in Galar. Let's get to the how we're going to do it. And I'm going to need your help. Introducing Galar Fight Night. Now, the concept is very simple. Since the ranked ladder is such a ghost town, we all pick a time that anyone with Sword and Shield can queue up all at once and have some fun duking it out in the Generation 8 metagame. The first Galar fight night is scheduled for today, March 2nd, 2024. To accommodate for as many time zones as possible, we've planned two three-hour blocks, one from 12pm to 3pm EST, and another at 7pm to 10pm. As of this video premiering over on YouTube, there will be about an hour to the beginning of the first time slot. So boot up your copy of Sword and Shield and get ready for some battles. I've set up a recurring countdown timer you can find in the description that should tell you when the next Galar Fight Night will be no matter when you're watching this video in the future. The idea will be to host these events every Saturday, making it a source of regular battles for those who seek to climb to the top. I will, of course, also be streaming myself queuing and battling in these events as well over on twitch.tv slash sirtoastdt, and I'll be battling with a team including some familiar faces if you're a fan of this channel so be sure to come hang out and chat while you ascend the ladder. There's also a dedicated channel in the Pokemon Ribbons Discord that the mods have set up for these events, so feel free to chat with other ribbon collectors there. By coordinating our efforts, anyone who participates should be able to easily find battles to help push them up the ranks. Unlike the Wi-Fi Tower, I'm not going to impose any requirements on what Pokemon you should bring for this to work. Want to use a team of hyper-offensive Zacian Kyogre Mega Threats? Sure, go for it. Want to run a team exclusively made of... Pokemon that wear hats? I'm sure your haberdashery will be unparalleled. I don't expect this to be an extremely competitive environment, 
It's really a chance for the community to come together towards a common goal. Though you will probably have an easier time getting to Master Rank if you do bring Pokémon with some synergy beyond their headgear. This will hopefully make it easier for players who want the Master Rank ribbon on Pokémon that are only found in Galar to reach the top of the ladder and earn that elusive ribbon. Players who are already in Master Rank can also queue up to earn some easy Master Rank ribbons during these events, or use this as a chance to reset their recent record. As we've found that when you have a long winning streak or long losing streak, the latter will try to match you against players with a similar record, potentially making it hard to find matches with other ribbon collectors, and also making it extremely hard for us to all throw matches against me so I can get Scizor to rank 1. Players who are already in Master Rank that want to help lower down the ladder can also make a new profile on your Switch with its own independent ladder ranking. But let's be real here. Easy access to one of the hardest ribbons can't be the only incentive to play, right? And that's why anyone who either posts proof of them participating in any given Galar Fight Night in the Galar Fight Night channel of the Pokemon Ribbons Discord, or posts a clip of them participating and tags me on Twitter at SirToastyToes, will be entered into a giveaway to win some very rare Pokemon. I and other ribbon collectors like Y Lambda are teaming up to offer some pretty snazzy prize support for these events. Pokemon such as Wishmaker Jirachi and Agate Celebi from the Coliseum pre-order bonus discs, rare event Pokemon such as Keldeo and Meloetta from Generation 5, and this week's prize Pokemon will be a Pokeball Pattern Vivalon which hasn't been distributed since 2016. A huge shout out to the people who have provided prizes for these events, and the hope is that we can offer something new every week to keep players coming back to every Galar fight night we run. Regardless of the prizes, or even winning and losing your battles, these events will hopefully serve as a way for us players who have found a common niche to come together, show off their treasured ribbon Pokemon, and hopefully make this often despised ribbon a symbol of the power of our little community. I hope to see you out there in Galar stadiums tonight, and hopefully during future Galar fight nights as well. And thanks for watching.